What's going on guys? Corey Nees here out of Ohio and today I'm going to tell you exactly why I decided to quit Vima after exactly one year and I'm basically basically just going to share my story with you and hopefully you can learn from my personal experiences while being involved with the company for exactly one year. And the one thing I want you to take away today is basically expanding your awareness if there's one thing and there's one thing after watching this video today it's I just want you to you know expand your awareness so you can further find out who you are as a person and kind of what you want in life and what you need to do in order to get that so you know without any further ado I'm gonna get started into my story and basically you know like I said I've been with Vima for exactly one year and you know, I got started on January 18th, 2013. And I went to a home event like many people who got started with Vima. And I heard of a way where you can make a couple grand a month working part time. So I was skeptical at first, like many. But, you know, I ended up going out and checking out the home event. And I soon realized that this was a legitimate business opportunity for me to, um, you know, make serious money and to create the lifestyle of my dreams, you know, like everybody wants. And I mean, basically from there, you know, to keep a long story short, I got started on a goal pack the very next day and I was really all in from the beginning, like most people actually aren't when they join an MLM opportunity. And, you know, I, I hope it shows that I was because I invested over $1,100 to get started and basically you know like I said I was all in from day one I worked my butt off um I had a lot of success right away you know within a couple of weeks I double frenzied we built um a pretty big organization around the area where I'm from some high school people I got my brothers on board we got a couple friends on board you know it was a lot of fun and we built a massive power leg the problem was none of us were building our profits and nobody was really making money and building much credibility you know outside of just our Vima group who we got into the organization and then we started to struggle like most people in MLM you start to struggle and with me you know I always wanted to make it I always wanted to succeed like you know like most people want to succeed in MLM and you know I, I was willing to do whatever it took whatever it took you know I went to Vegas in April I went to San Diego in August I went to the leadership academy thing in um in Columbus and you know I invested a lot of money um I was always looking for you know the edge to do whatever it took to succeed um you know I did massive cool marketing after a while you know everybody burns through their list and their war market I resorted to massive cold marketing I mean I'm from northwest Ohio and I went to Finley you know we destroyed the Lima Mall we went down to Columbus Cincy Cleveland um, maybe even Akron or Toledo. Um, we went Indianapolis, Fort Wayne, and probably a couple other cities I didn't even mention. And basically, from all that cold marketing, you know, I got over a hundred contacts, I bet, and it virtually got me nowhere. And you know, I soon realized that I needed to do something differently because I was losing so much money every month and not making any office cycles or signing up PQs because, you know, I came to realize that. Um, there's two things that it comes down to being very successful in MLM and that's value and leadership and I realized I didn't contain enough value myself or overall I wasn't looked at as a leader from the outside you know from people looking to me they didn't think of me as somebody who could help them get what they wanted and that's why people weren't joining our teams and we weren't getting any PEQs very often and that leads me up to this summer in July I got introduced to attraction marketing and basically that's what it taught me you know how to become a person of higher value and how to position yourself as a leader to succeed in MLM and another thing about Vima um, you know just to keep things straight Vima is an MLM opportunity Vima is a traditional network marketing company and the reason I bring that up is because recently I heard they're called you know an affiliate marketing company and I think that's kinda ironic because you know, I think of it this way. You know, if I have an orange here, and, you know, I've called this orange an orange for 10 years, and one day I decide to call it an apple, does that mean this orange is an apple just because I called it an apple? No. 
that that doesn't make sense. That's like Vima has been out for 10, you know, 10 years, around 10 years, and it's a traditional MLM company. And one day they decide to call themselves an affiliate marketing company. Does that mean they're an affiliate marketing company? No. They're still technically an MLM company. And the reason I bring that up is through the whole process and my journey of, um, you know, building the business, cold marketing and traveling and, you know, investing money and training and just developing myself to succeed in, in Vima, I soon realized how the whole MLM structure works in, in the industry as a whole. And I found out that, you know, the payout compensation in Vima and MLM wasn't really super transparent. And after a while, I realized that it wasn't really um, worth my time for the opportunities that I found online. And, you know, I'm, I say this in a way that I hope you understand that, you know, Vima pays out on multiple levels. That's why it's a, multi, a multi-level marketing company. And, and basically, um, I found out that, you know, with the cycling, um, you're only making around 3% commission in terms of 360 points on one side, 120 on the other. You're helping produce around, you know, 500, 600 bucks. And you're getting paid 20 bucks. And that's 3% commission for your residual income. And while doing online marketing to help me with FEMA, I soon realized that I can market a product or service for, um, for rewards of 100% commission if somebody buys. And yeah, there's a merchant fee or whatever, so I'm making 90%. So let's say I did a $600 sale in you know, a traditional affiliate marketing company, not Vima or any other MLM company, you know, like Amway, Wake Up Now, those are all network marketing companies. An affiliate marketing company pays their distributors or their um, organization members on commissions. And basically, you get paid to produce. And the thing that annoyed me with Vima was, in order to get your product for free, you needed 360 QV points. And let's say you got four or five customers and it added up to around 240 or 300 QV points. That's great. But, you know, you're helping them produce around three, four hundred dollars plus in sales. And you're not making a dime because you don't get paid for customers. You don't get paid, you know, to help them produce sales there. And to me, you know, with all this being said, you know, I want you to know I love I love Vima as a company. It's my favorite network marketing company. I'm going to continue to order the products and to be a customer. But for me personally, for me personally, I just found a better opportunity. It's a vehicle like Vima is a vehicle to get you to where you want to be. And I just found a vehicle that will get me to where I want to be faster. And it aligns more with who I am, kind of as a person, and where I see myself in the next five, ten you know, 50 plus years. And um, basically, you know, I found ways just to build a business, you know, where I can do it online, leveraging the internet and social media, which is the way of the future with technology. And it just makes a lot more sense to me, you know, and, you know, if you want to find out with what I'm doing, if you want to know exactly what I'm doing now, because I'm not quitting it all together, whole aspect, I'm still doing marketing, I'm still into direct sales, direct response marketing, and um, I'm still all about the residual income and the freedom. I'm just doing a different opportunity that I feel is better for me personally. I'm not saying it's better for everybody because better is a relative term. So basically, there's going to be a link under this video below in the description. Click on that link if you want to find out what I'm doing to earn 100% commissions. And also, there's going to be some network marketing training underneath this video where you can basically... Um, put some information in like your email or something and then you'll get um, seven attraction marketing videos to help you succeed with Vima or whatever business opportunity you choose to do and basically you know that's really all I have to share today it's been about nine minutes or so so I'm gonna let you go but you know remember one thing to take away I want you to expand your awareness and really you know think of what you're doing and what you want and if what you're doing isn't lining up with like how you want to get to where you want to be in life you should really reconsider you know what you're doing basically like what type of business you're building how you're making money how are you spending your time are you productive are you wasting your time are you learning are you developing and you know basically I hope you really you know took some value away from my personal experiences and hearing my story kind of with Vima and um, 
that's everything I got. Have a great day, guys. Peace.